Hey everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This ought to be an interesting beer because it is an anomaly. Uh, this is Chocolate Box. This is a dark oatmeal stout coming in at 7% alcohol and this was brewed and bottled by Ass Kisser Beverage of San Jose, California. Ass Kisser! Guys, I couldn't find anything on rate beer on this. I couldn't find anything on Beer Advocate on this and I even went to Ass Kisser's website and I couldn't find anything on this on their website, so... And I, they didn't make it, I don't guess. I guess I'm... It appeared magically in the fridge. So nobody knows anything about this, so... Guys, before I even pop a top on this, if you've had this one, give me some... Especially if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one and tell me why I can't find it anywhere. Uh, very strange. I don't think I've ever experienced that with any other beer. And I've tried some new beers before they was fresh freshly done and they were they were listed but they didn't have any ratings. This is not listed even where not even on their own website, so that blows my mind. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that deal. And I don't have anything to read to you. So this is this is from Ass Kisser out of San Jose, California, seven percent A D V beer and the glassware today, we're going to use the double glass guys. Uh, I like to use those for the, the 7% beers that, uh, and bigger, especially on the stout side because it enhances the aromas just a little bit. This is a 22 ounce bomber on this one and I don't know why it's not listed anywhere. Uh, this is a dessert type beer, chocolate beer. It's going to go well with all your chocolate dishes and dessert type dishes. Especially, uh, Especially your sweeter dishes. Let's go down the center on this one. Like I said, this is the big bottle, 22 ounce. This is one to share. Alright guys, with aggressive pour, we got us a good solid, maybe even a thumb of head there guys. Not a finger, but a thumb. A little bit bigger than a finger. Over to the light, there is none. It is pitch black. I'm not giving any tinges of red or anything around. So it is pitch black, no moon, no stars. Black. There are some bubbles streaming up. I can see those going to the bottom. Looks very, very, looks very, very tasty for a stout. I like those pitch black ones. A lot of people go, oh, that looks like motor oil. Yeah, it does, but it don't taste like it. Let's get a nose on it, guys. Oh yeah, I'm getting some bittersweet chocolate on this. Not milk chocolate, but bittersweet. I'm getting a little bit of coffee, not a whole lot. Roasted malt, a little bit of toffee. Maybe a little tobacco in there too. Wow, smells pretty good. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, everybody. Not overwhelming chocolate, definitely a bittersweet chocolate, not a milk chocolate. Got a lot of bitterness there. It's like an espresso coffee. Bitterness. Very nice though. I really like it though. Very, very nice. I've had a handful of their beers now, and most of them have been decent. I mean, uh, nothing to write home about or blow your socks off or your hair back or anything, but they are, they're, all, I think all of them but one have been above average, so uh, 
I'm not disappointed so far. So this is right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. It's only going to get better as it warms up 7%. Not getting any alcohol at all, guys. So we're going to let the other half taste it, and we'll come back and do the final chunk on this one. But definitely looks like an above-average beer. So come here, I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. I just have a little left here. I don't know why this is not listed anywhere. This is a very nice beer, unless it's brand new, but I still, I've never had a beer that wasn't listed anywhere, not even on their own website before, guys. So, that being said, I don't chug. Very nice beer. I mean, it's nothing special to write home about. It's, it is not all that. It's, uh, is a nice, easy drinking for a seven percent beer. It says uh, says seven uh, percent on the label here, but uh, I don't have any any information having any information at all on this beer whatsoever. So all I can tell you is what I'm tasting and, and what I see on the label. So I don't have any ratings to go by or or anything to go with on this one. Uh, to me, this beer is a uh, uh, without a date on the bottle, now I didn't look for a digitized, a digitized date on it, which is not going to be critical on a beer that's seven percent and being a stout and not hot forward, because this beer will keep. But I don't see anything written on it, on the label or on the bottle anywhere. So kind of want a year anyway. So, but I don't know why it's not listed anywhere. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give it a 6. It's a B. It's a solid B beer. It's an above average beer. It's worth tasting. It's worth trying. If you've not had it and you see it and you like this type of beer, the, the darker stouts, the chocolate stouts, this is pretty tasty. I mean, uh, the alcohol is there, but it's well hidden. So, uh, this is one of the gooder ones. Uh, gooder. Uh, I'm coming up with a bunch of new words here. <laughs> Sweetier and goodier and all this kind of stuff. So, guys, uh, Give me some comments back on this. If you've had this one, let me know. Don't have any other ratings on this one. I enjoyed this one. It's not something I would seek out, but I'm glad I tried it. So if you see it, pick it up. Give it a try. And hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. And come on back tomorrow. We're going to look at one of them fridges. See everybody then.